A power-hungry Putin has launched another ruthless mission as he looks to expand Russian borders by encroaching on NATO waters. Russia has taunted the West with the latest brazen sea operations in the Baltic Sea as heightened fears over the Kremlin's nuclear testing continues to ramp up. Putin's latest nuclear warnings comes as the tyrant launched additional tactical nuke drills near to Ukraine, with the Kremlin saying they will be forced to use the weapons if NATO continues to interfere. Dramatic pictures show Iskander and hypersonic Kinzhal missiles being moved across regions before they were fired through the sky. The move is set to test the readiness of combat units to respond and to unconditionally ensure the territorial integrity and sovereignty of the Russian state. But the latest concern out of Russia revolves around Putin's defense ministry, announcing a shock bid to change Russian maritime borders with Finland and Lithuania. Russia is looking to once again make their own version of history by redrawing their territorial waters. In a similar vein to how Putin invaded Crimea and Ukraine as he saw them as Russian states rather than independent ones, Russia is now set to extend their waters at any costs necessary. Moscow is believed to be to gearing up to steal the inland seawaters in the eastern part of the Gulf of Finland, as well as near the cities of Baltysk and Zelenodratsk in the Kaliningrad region. Russia intends to take the land of Summers, Jahi, Rodshire, Malyi Tutors, Vigrund and Gogland, as well as the North Cape of the Narva River near the state border with Finland. With Putin also intending to unilaterally redesign global sea maps near the Koronian Spit between Lithuania and Russia, and the Vistula Spit between Poland and Russia, the Taran Cape is thought to be the final area Russia is looking to take without consequences. The dozen of ruthless grabs could quickly lead to a disastrous escalation of conflict with NATO over the disputed rulers of the territorial waters. Russia could be set to steal the regions to deploy navy forces to train them up, despite NATO countries already having forces out on the waters. The Russian Defense Ministry has made sensational claims calling the current maritime map used by everyone as outdated and incorrect. They have said it is based on geographic coordinates made in 1985, which now do not fully correspond to the current geographic situation due to the breakup of the Soviet Union. Moscow are now said to be calling the maritime borders invalid, despite the decades-old agreement by the Soviet cabinet who regulated the borders in the Baltic Sea region. The Moscow remarks were published as part of a report this morning that has since been deleted as panic set in across Europe. Finland, one of the main targets of the latest Russian revolution, has been seen as a Kremlin must-have for some time as it was feared the Finnish border guard crossing could become a flashpoint if war-mad Putin attacks the West. Given its geographical location and the fact that forces from the Western alliance could be stationed at the crossing at any time, Arctic bases could become a Kremlin target. The Lithuanian Foreign Ministry told Bild that Russia's actions are a conscious, targeted, escalating provocation to intimidate neighboring countries. Sweden also made a stand against Putin's plans as Commander-in-Chief of the Swedish Armed Forces, Mikhail Biden said, Putin's goal is to gain control of the Baltic Sea. If Russia takes control and seals off the Baltic Sea, it would have an enormous impact on our lives in Sweden and all other Baltic Sea states. We cannot permit that, he continued, talking about the region of Gotland that sits just off the coast of Sweden, saying that is thought to be the next area on Putin's hit list if he gets his way. Gotland is seen as a strategic must-have as whoever owns it controls the Baltic Sea, claims Biden.